capitalist system in the United States that has once again sorted us for the brilliance. And let those brilliant people start being brilliant. Give them the power to change Jewish communities. Give them the ability to, you know, try out their ideas in real life, try out their ideas in the lab. Uh, and I think from that there will be a huge flowering that we're already seeing of new forms of Jewish practice, new forms of Jewish narrative, new Jewish expressions that encompass areas of art and culture that we just haven't had in so long. So I'm going to say that if you look back at our recent narrative and find the right countertext, I would say that the ideology is always there, already there. I don't think that we need anything new. I think that there's such richness to the ideologies that are in our immediate as well as distant past. All we need to do is rephrase it in a way that fertilizes it for everyone and allows anyone who wants to know more to look into it and see where it goes. Sure. Which is the same thing that Zionism was, it's the same thing that Reform Judaism was, it's the same thing that every good ideology has always been. Mm -hmm. It's just what do you want to do, where do you want to go with it? Mm -hmm. And that'll tell you how to encapsulize it and you need to put it on a foundation that's sturdy enough that it goes all the way back. Absolutely, which means that you've got to take these people and introduce them to the text and give them the tools to study the text and play with the text and reinterpret the text and then get out of their way. Because the other part they'll figure out. The other part they'll know how to do. You know, the part of bringing that to life. The problem is, they'll bring anything to life right now. They're not reading for the manual. Listen, I'll tell you the guide is the manual. It's a manual. Mm -hmm. we got to sit down with it. Oh. That's about it for the sunset. And I think we solved the problem of Jewish continuity, so uh, yeah. let's go get drunk. Oh no, it's a good night. <laughs> good night for the Jews. Big up. Oh, the sunset's like cleavage. I'm supposed to get a sense of it, I'm supposed to look at it. I'll tell you, year-round, almost every day of the year in Tel Aviv, there's one part of the day where it's just absolutely perfect. <laughs> in the summer, it's the night. Yeah. There's very few nights that's just unpleasant all night long. In the winter, it's during the day, you know, it gets fairly pleasant in the, in the heat of the day. Yeah, and I, I have to say, like, this last week or so, we've really had some good weather. When we got here, it was balls hot. GA monitor. Bands. They just run it for four years. They're not fun. Cool, brand new. I just built them back this day. Walk out and walk out. And then they have no food. They just built it for a while. Yeah, no, it's all brand new. What, yeah. that pool over there? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, I, I saw somebody pool. swimming in it like no. last time we were here. Yeah, I somebody might have snuck in. They must have snuck yeah, in. It's it not open like yet. like one person. Maybe he was testing it. Maybe. Yay Zionism. <laughs>